First and foremost, here we do not believe in the prosperity gospel. What we believe in is a posterity gospel. It's the posture of your heart when you give. And we see that in the word where we see in Mark chapter 12, the last two verses. And we see that Jesus calls the disciples over. And as he's gazing upon a widow woman who had just lost her husband, the love of her life, she still never forgot her first love. And she was giving out of the posture of her heart. Not because she could, it wasn't because she knew that she could get from God. It was because she knew that when she gave what she got, no man could fill. No other person could fill. No feeling. No religion could fill. I want to invite a uh, uh, beautiful woman up now. Mom, come up. You obviously know who she is now. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, Mom. Mom, and for those who are watching online, prepare your hearts to give as well as you hear this encouraging testimony of, of giving. And to go, to go on as, as it ended, where she gave, was she, she gave out of her poverty, of what she didn't have. So my mother here, how much did you give of the last that you had to your name last, last week? I gave $140, and I saved $5.75 for dollar rides so I could come to church. Why did, why did you give that? Um, I grew up giving uh, all my life. My parents were pastors and missionaries. So I was brought up in giving. And um, I was like, um, I was empty inside. I said, Lord, I need to give. I need to give because I know blessings will come. And I felt that I wasn't doing enough. And um, this mic is too like, oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so I, I, you know, in my heart, I wanted to give so bad. And I said, Lord, it's only this much. I want to give more. And um, I told my son, I need to give. And he goes, Mom, you got to wait, Mama. You only have a little bit. And I says, I know, but I need to give. And so last Sunday, I said, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, you'll take care of me. I know you will. And um, so I gave just enough for dollar ride so I could come to church. And um, you could. Yeah, so, so what had happened previously, now before, the two years before today, um, uh, my father got very sick and um, long story short he started the process uh, so that my mother would not go financially unstable as my father had worked uh, diligently to provide for us we were never rich but my dad as he'd say he was rich because of what he had and uh, that's where my father gave out of as well out of the abundance of what he had and with that, um, as of last, actually, yes, day before yesterday, um, yeah, it's okay. We, we had been, I'm here to be a witness. Yeah. <laughs> um, did, and uh, my mother sent me a letter from uh, the United States Social Security Administration where my father, uh, before he passed, had been for two years uh, fighting the system to just get what what was his for his wife denied 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 three times and with that as my mother had given because she knew that God was faithful that God was faithful she received a letter two days ago saying that not only will she receive full back pay of what my father would have gotten for her and her name with some on the top as well as she will be receiving on top of that a monthly check for the rest of her entire life god is good god is good come on someone praise the lord god you are good yes hallelujah
So, mom, I want you to just very quickly, there's someone, there's someone here, and this is, this is not to make you give. This is so you know, this is what happens when you trust God, when you trust him. Keep your eyes on that. Don't, don't be dismayed. But mom, tell someone or people or those who are watching on live stream or from all around the world, tell them why they should give to the Lord. The Bible says that if you have faith as a mustard seed, that God would bless you. I have everything here, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> but the action of giving, the action of saying to that mountain, be removed. I was in the back with Pastor Eliad's wife, and I told her, please pray for me. And she said, yes, let's pray. And I told her, I was standing in the back, but I was pointing this way. And I says, I want to stand up there. I want to witness. I want to testify. I want to tell everybody that God can move my mountain. Come on, and God can move your mountain as well as you give unto the Lord. Yes. Come on, and give a shout of praise to the Lord. God, you are a worthy God. You are worthy, Lord. So as you prepare your heart right now in this posture, not out of your prosperity, not out of your success, but out of the knowledge knowing that God is good and out of your faith that may be only as big as a mustard seed, which you can't see in your hand, but put something in your hand, even if it's nothing, and say, Lord, I come even with nothing but I give you everything. Amen. So let's take that seed right now. And you can, there's uh, a few ways to give. If you look behind me up on top, there is the Church Center app, which is one of my favorites. Uh, we give automatically through that every single month. There is the Cash App, Venmo, and others. Uh, there is also a text, any amount, to 84321 and select Hungry Gen. Let's close our eyes. Father, we just thank you so much for your goodness. We thank you that you are a faithful God. We thank you that you see past what we're even giving. You see past what we're giving for, Lord Father God. And so we don't look to the we don't look to the left or the right, but we look to the hills where our help comes from. And as we give to you, we know that our help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and of earth. You know every single seed in this house that has been planted, Lord Father God. And we ask that Holy Spirit that you would come and you would comfort those hearts that are giving right now, Lord Father God. We ask that the waters from heaven would come and pour out over the grounds that have been seeded in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you and all God's people said, Amen. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content and this was a blessing to you, would you help us and hit thumbs up so that it could help more people to discover this video. It costs you nothing, but it can go a long way to help with the algorithm. As well as if you're not subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe, click on the bell so that you can be reminded each time that we upload videos. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. If you're interested in learning more about Hungry Gen, our internship, our conferences, deliverance, and so many other things, go to HungryGen.com for more information. And as always, remember, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come.